In an out deleted post on Twitter, North Carolina Congresswoman Alma Adams promoted a message that claimed Congressman John Louie S. had died, sending fans and friends into a frenzy. Words cannot do John Lewis justice, because everything he did was in the service of justice, the post on Adams' account said. He gave everything, including his blood and his body, to the movement. It was an honor to make good trouble, with John in the house, and I will miss both my friend and the man himself. Less than 15 minutes later, a spokesperson, for Lewis confirmed that not only is Lewis alive, he is resting comfortably at home. A reporter for Atlanta, based WB, TV said, a spokesperson told her that Lewis is fine. Adams apologized for the false report on Twitter, I am deeply sorry to Congressman John Lewis, his family, and his staff, for the erroneous information posted to our social media account earlier today, one post reads, Rep. Lewis is one of my friends and heroes, and I am relieved to know he is at home resting. M. Pincer, Deputy Chief of Staff, and Communications Director for Adams, said he is the one that passed the incorrect information on to Adams, and insinuated that he may, have tweeted from her account. I take full responsibility for the erroneous information posted to, social media accounts to, day, Henser wrote. It should have never happened, I would like to take this opportunity to apologize to an ever, Yone, who was as heartbroken as I was when they heard this hoax. Lewis, 80, is in treatment for advanced stage pancreatic cancer. The Democrat congressman from Georgia is a civil rights activist, who at 25 was beaten so badly, his skull was fractured, during the 1960 F. I've Bloody Unday march across the Edmund Pettus Bridge in Elma, Alabama. He was at the head of the march, when he was knocked to the ground and beaten by police. The nationally televised images forced the country's attention on the racial inequalities being faux, ute, by Martin Luther King, and so many others. The youngest and last survivor of the Big Nine civil rights activists, a group once led by King, Lewis was arrested at least 40 times during the civil rights era, and several more times as a congressman since being elected in 1986, 